am Yara Shahidi. I'm an actress slash activist. Uh, in my family, we really didn't watch much TV. So I was left to books and cartoons on the weekend for an hour. And so I think one of my favorite shows was Time Warp Trio. Be careful what you wish for. It's about three boys traveling through history, but then they meet their future, like, daughters who end up being, like, the coolest people in the world who saved the historical timeline time and time again. And so I remember seeing, I think her name was Samantha, and I was like, I am Samantha. And so my brother and I would then go outside and we played people games in which we'd travel through time as the same people. And so like one day I'd be like, okay, we're playing the 1800s now. Okay, now we're in the future. Okay, now we're doing this. And so it was really like cartoons and stuff like that that I loved a lot. Fortunately, I think just because of the media that uh, my parents were watching and that they made me aware of, I was able to watch things that I could identify with, but it wasn't anything really current or present. It was something that had happened previously, or it was an old movie or a cool TV show that was made years before I was born. I started in commercials and print, and so in that world, I was in the Disney store as Black Cinderella and Kim Possible and Tinkerbell and all of these characters that really weren't meant to look like me. And so it's funny because even when I say it, I realize I say the black version of because it is <laughs> the assumption that Cinderella is white. And it's not even like, oh, Cinderella's a princess. No, it's there's a very strict set of parameters when describing these people. And so um, oftentimes I've realized, I think just kind of later in life, I realized that I didn't have to deal with representation in the way a lot of my peers had to because I was surrounded in this world in which I saw myself quite literally too, in which it was like, oh yeah, Cinderella can look like me because it is me. I think it was just really intentional to make sure that I saw myself reflected and so it was so much more than, okay, let's figure out who looks like you on TV, but really what show tells a great storyline, what has an impactful meaning behind it. And so not only did I kind of uh, unconsciously learn the importance of diversity, but the importance of representation and in the importance of what stories we tell with the diversity on screen. Yeah.